Hey, good morning, YouTube. Coming at you with a uh, little knife review here. This is a knife I found in my collection drawer. Uh, I had forgotten I had it, but I got to looking at it and wanted to do a little research on it, find out a little bit more about it. So I thought I'd do a review on it. Uh, maybe some of y'all collect these out there. Most of y'all know the old timer knives. They've been around forever. Uh, my dad carried old timers almost all his life. And uh, they used to be made in the USA. I think now they're made in mostly China. But we'll go into this one here. This is the old timer 50 key. It's a uh, Bruin lock blade, they call it. Folding knife. But it came out with like seven different handle designs and different model numbers. The 5UH, the 50UH, the 55UH, the 50T, which is this one, uh, 50TG, and the 550T. And this one here, the 50T, was in production from 1987 to 1998. Uh, they were only made about over a 17 year period. And uh, this one has uh, nickel silver bolsters, and this is a brown, they call this a brown saw cut handle, and uh, nickel uh, silver old timer shield. The blade is a flat ground and stainless steel. But uh, some of the measurements on it is uh, the handle length is 3.7 inches, and I'm going to bring out a uh, Leatherman here to, to help with that. Give you a little bit. I don't have my tape measure with me, so I apologize. But it's uh, supposed to be 3.7 inches. I don't know if you can see that very well with the Leatherman. But uh, 3.7 inches on the uh, handle length, the blade length is 2.8 inches. Oh yeah, right at 2.8 on the cutting edge. And the weight is uh, very light, it's 0.12, so it's not even a full ounce, very light. You see here on the, uh, the Tang stamp, you got the Shrey Plus USA 50T, hope that'll focus for you. There, but uh, it's got a drop point blade and uh, got this comes with this brown leather sheath, which is really nice. Got the frayed emblem here on the front of it, and you can tell this one's well loved, well worn. Uh, but uh, this was a uh, Anybody knows the history of old timers? They uh, been around for a long time. They make a lot of knives. That's the uh, these are the kind of knives my father would use. Or my grandfather's. They had. He always carried an old timer with him. But uh, I mean, the blade is still let's see, relatively sharp. Cleaned up a little bit. Go ahead and bit of the edge on. But, uh, but yeah, the overall length is uh, six and a half inches. We'll put that in comparison. This is a uh, buck 112 right here. Move this down a bit. <coughs> and this is a uh, buck 110. Oh, excuse me. You see, it's real close uh, in size to the Buck 112, which is a real popular knife. And uh, good everyday carry size. And uh, yeah, but this is the uh, old timer 50T. And. Uh, 
Well, this lockback spring on here is Tyco on this thing, man. There you go. Fits in the sheath real nice. Horizontal carry. I'm sorry, vertical carry. Very light, very easy. When you know you have it on. Yeah. These were good knives. Yeah. This one's still in pretty good shape after that many years. No separation back here in the back. Everything's nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Got your liners in here. These were. Uh, Looks like uh, looks like steel liners. Hard to see. Nope. Is it nickel silver liners? Right there. Hmm. Way center is a little off on it. Move it over to the left a little bit. This is not a new knife, this is an older knife, so it's been used. When but this is the old timer 50T. So if uh, you're in collecting these, like I said, they make seven different models and uh, got some nice snap to it still. A little lot back blade from uh, old timer. Hopefully you guys uh, learn a little something if you like old timers. This one is uh, the rivets are a little bit above the. Uh, you can feel them when you rub your hands across them, but they're not uh, uncomfortable. You know. But yeah, just thought I'd do a little review on it. I just happened to. Pick it up and uh, want to show it to everybody. But this is when it was still USA made, so uh, I think they still sell them on. You can get them on eBay and whatnot. But they're not too expensive, you know, they're under fifty dollars. But the old timer fifty T uh, lockback design, drop point blade. If you guys enjoy this content, you like these kind of. Uh, videos and I come out with them about once a week. You can like and subscribe if you would be appreciated. And once again, my name is John with Space City EDC. Hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.